What part of the human experience is of zero interest to you? Having a wedding. Getting married. Yes. But I just can't see myself going through with the planning of a wedding and being happy about it even on the day. I do like going to other people's weddings though. It's the only time I feel comfortable in a dress. Places that play loud music exhaust me. Could be a country restaurant with loud country music playing. Could be a Korean barbecue place with loud pop playing. Could be Dave and Buster's. Why do so many places play music so loud you can barely hear your companions speak? It's utterly exhausting and not fun. Do other people like loud music? Like it's not even music genre specific. Loud music is supposed to seem fun but it just makes me want to run. Chasing money. I just want to have enough for a comfortable life. I can't be bothered to keep wanting more and more. Aging. I hate this. I hate growing hair in places and losing hair on my head. It's gross. Trying to impress someone. Either we get along or we don't and if it's not for you it doesn't really bother me. Drugs. Just never cared to try. Traveling with friends or family. I'm a pretty hardcore introvert and constantly having to compromise because this person is a cheap. Or doesn't want to go here or there and having to deal with their neurotic, I don't want to do it anymore. If I ever have the money. I'm traveling solo and it's going to be awesome. Small talk. Just imagine how good it'd be if no one felt the need to do small talk. In modern society. Hookup culture, casual culture. Not a human experience for all but certainly gaining a lot of traction. Childbirth, that ever again. People say, oh you'll forget once you see the baby. 10 out of 10 worst pain of my life and worst experience so far. Bodily functions. I don't care for them. They're gross and inconvenient. If only we didn't have to deal with them I feel my life would be ever so slightly easier. Oh and I hate the whole societal norms thing it's weird and I don't like how it affects us so much. Getting into physical altercations of any kind. I think I shoved a bully in middle school but I'll be happy if that ends up being it. For some reason society makes boys think this is something you need to do. No interest. I absolutely hate the idea of inflicting pain onto others. Instagram. I don't get it. I can without a doubt say school was probably the worst human experience of my life. ADHD has been an obstacle in my life for as long as I can remember. My mind could never settle on a thought for longer than 5 seconds before it would start wandering off with the topic. Looking for alternate perspectives. Running through different possible outcomes to see if my mind was satisfied with this piece of information entering my brain. By the, the time I had digested all this information. I would look up and see the class was already on the next topic. Which could have been anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute later. This would result in me having to try catch up while the lesson would go on without me. Leaving me with an augmented version of the lesson that my brain mutated into existence. Of course asking the teacher to repeat herself 20 times in one lesson is a lot right? So I would keep quiet and slowly develop insecurities about myself. Thinking thoughts like, will people think I'm stupid if I stop the teacher from teaching again so she can re-explain something she just spent 10 minutes going through? Am I potentially disrupting my fellow students' educations because my dumb can't remember the difference between two and two? Most of my teachers couldn't understand how my mind worked and would eventually give up on me. Move me to the back of the class and forget about me. Now I'm sitting back here thinking about what people are thinking about me. And what I'm thinking about them. Next thing the teacher says we have a test coming up based on this lesson and I can't even even tell you what the heading of the chapter is. It was single-handedly the worst and longest experience of my life and can easily be compared to spending 12 years in jail. When the modern day school system was done with me. I entered the adult world feeling stupid. Scared and less prepared than my peers who could soak up all the information that my brain just couldn't get to. Fortunately for me. I ended up finishing school with a 68% aggregate which was good enough for my high school diploma that I achieved purely through general knowledge as I couldn't pick up a book and study either. Anyway. Rant over. After now reading back over this brain I realize I may have wandered off topic a little. But what can be taken away here is that this is what suffering with ADHD in school looks like and feels like. The modern day school system does not work for people like me and it's something that should be rectified because we are losing brilliant minds every day. In conclusion. School was of zero interest to me. 
when family members have kids. Man. I just can't get excited. I just deleted 500 pictures that relatives have sent me of their kids that I'll never be close to at this point in my life. I think that's also because of the type of people my family are. And that I have been putting distance between myself and them for 5 years. I'm not going to get drawn back into those family ties and emotions again. I have zero interest in any of it. Childbirth without medication. Haven't had my baby yet, has to be a C-section which makes the medication part easy, but wow. The market for natural births astounds me. I don't know what Kool-Aid is being passed around or why there's a stigma against drugs. But yikes. You're pushing a ginormous object through a small space. Just because we haven't been able to do that safely with medication until recently. Doesn't mean that it's the gold standard. Sure. I get being curious, I'm curious, and I get trying it, I might even try it for a bit next time, and I definitely understand being proud of being able to do it. But sheesh. If it sucks and you don't like it please get the medication and don't be ashamed. If you aren't interested in trying it don't be ashamed. I feel like any other medical process can be an analogy. Sure. Amputations used to happen without medication. And I guess if you're interested you could go for it. But you don't need to. And you certainly shouldn't feel bad capitalizing on the benefits of modern medicine to do things. Getting married. Having kids. I've searched deep into my soul and I for some reason or another. Maybe genetics or brain imbalance. Have no interest in either of these things. Reproducing. Kids are cute in theory but in practice I have never met a single child that I could tolerate for more than an hour. One night stands. Admittedly still a virgin but the mere thought of for the sake of leaves me empty and sad inside and so I'd rather not. Mental illness. I hate it. I wish I was normal. Wooing someone. Feels the same as an interview. I'm supposed to convince someone that I'm worth their time? Haha <laughs> I'm not worth my own time. Same goes for any sort of sales roles. If someone doesn't want a product, why would I try to convince them to buy something they already didn't need before I walked up to them? So much of getting ahead in a career or starting a relationship seems to require an ability to woo. And I lack it. And hate it. Having a wedding. Rather put the money into an epic travel adventure. Having kids. I think adopting a kid would be a lot of fun in the future. Plus you're giving someone a better life. Why bring someone else into the world when you can help someone that's already in the world? I'm really really young to be considering this. But I feel as though I've mostly convinced myself of it. I just feel like everyone has a kid because it's just what people do. And I get that but. A. I dunno. Doesn't seem like something I'd wanna do just because everyone else does. Watching sports. Although I'm kinda bummed that I'm missing out on the social aspect of it. Getting drunk, smoking, getting high. Not worth the effort. Money. Nor the impact on my health considering the effect I want to achieve by them should be obtained by the way I live. Not with a substance. Being a parent. All that. Having a partner. Although I suspect I may be aromantic. Honestly, little tedious things like brushing teeth, hand washing, washing dishes, doing laundry, like maintenance tasks. I do them all. Don't get me wrong, but it's been grinding my gears a little bit lately. Having kids. People always try to convince me to have them by saying things like, they're different when they're your own, or you'll never know what a mother's love feels like. You know what? I'm good. I'm sure it's a great feeling. But I just have no desire to experience it. Parenting. I can see why people want to be parents. I love children myself. But raising one? No thanks. College parties I always heard that parties and rushing fraternities was a huge part of college. But when I went to a party it was just a really hot crowded room with too many people around and the music was so loud I couldn't hear anything. Also I know people will spike girls drinks to take advantage of them and there had been multiple cases of that at my college so I don't have any intention of going back to any frat parties. TLDR. College parties suck. Having children. Absolutely not for me or my husband thankfully. Anything with a trill or adrenaline rush. I don't like being scared. Spooked. Etc. And I like my heart beating normally and quietly. If I can feel it because it got too excited. It's gotten too exciting and I'd rather have the calm. But some people like that. I cannot understand why. Anime. I prefer Bugs Bunny. 